Hi, this is Don Dunn with Audioholics. We are here, Boots on the Ground, Audio Advice Live 2023, and I am here with a personal hero of mine, Mr. Scott Noonan, the CEO oh <laughs> of Audio. Dude, I'm telling you. And we are here to talk about these amazing new theater chairs. They've spent a year and a half designing, I yeah. believe, putting yeah. these together. And most of you know that my background, I'm a professional integrator, and I've literally done hundreds of theater chairs. And I got to tell you sincerely that this might be the coolest, it, it's best chair I've ever been around. And, and there's a lot of reasons behind that. Um, so Scott, you want to kind of give us a quick overview of the chair itself? Yeah. So uh, you can see we've sort of got this, you know, race car back in it. Maybe we start, um, I think one of the things that I never really talk a lot about is the fabric. You know, you felt the fabric and sat in it. And this is a vegan leather, so there's no animals uh, killed with this. But what makes it really unique, and you felt it, it feels like really high-end oh, leather the highest end leather like yeah. like out of a sports car yeah it really does and uh that's you know it's the same type of concept of what tesla's doing and rivian's doing in mm -hmm. their vehicles uh but it also makes it way more durable so if you spill on it it's easy to clean up and touch but it feels incredible and honestly i think mm -hmm. this is where the entire you're going to see all the major car manufacturers go there in the high end and everyone else because it's super durable. You're not having to treat it all the time. And obviously it looks, you know, looks incredible, feels incredible. Nobody ever spills anything in their theater shows either. <laughs> now, one cool thing, and there's a lot of cool things, so it's going to take us a minute here. Um, you even put a space in the middle of the seat. So if you drop popcorn or something down near your phone, you're not underneath looking for it. I thought that was an amazing touch, by the way. Yeah, so it's called our food catcher. Basically, mm -hmm. when you recline the chair back, there's a zipper in here, and it actually has a little catcher so that for those of you who have, you know, theater chairs you've had for a long, long time, you probably know every once in a while you open up the chair and you look under and go, oh my gosh, you see everything. <laughs> it catches it. You literally can just take a vacuum and clean everything up right there. I mean, that kind of detail is what one of the things that differentiates this product from anything I've ever really used. Um, so Scott, let's talk about the tray that actually comes with each seat. Yeah, so um, myself and a lot of us have had chairs for a long time that had this historical, you know, you've probably seen them online or whatever. It's like a rectangular mm -hmm. tray. And one, it's usually too small to put a plate on. And mm -hmm. certainly if you try to put a drink in it, you'll knock it off. Mm -hmm. But the bigger problem with them is they're all slick. And so inevitably you have this like uh, little rectangular tray, you bump it with a glass of wine or beer and you've got a total mess. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a more expensive tray to produce, mm -hmm. but a way more functional. And when you do focus groups, what you find is this bigger, but because it's oval, it, it functions as if it it's small. corners. That's right. That. Um, but it has a neoprene type of top and an indention for the drink. And so, you know, you felt it oh, yeah, when you're touching it, material. you can see how it's gonna hold the, um, the, you know, anything you've got and, on and a durable. plate. durable, you couldn't break this thing. No, 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 you'd these be, are incredible. You'd be hard pressed to do that. So, you know, in the past when we did little trays on theater chairs, we called them launch pads because <laughs> usually when people bought them, they had to have them. They launched everything, including the, you know, $3,000 remotes off of them. So that, that's actually a genius thing. If you've never owned these, you don't know. But if, once you have them, this is amazing. It really and, is. And you mentioned right at the beginning when you were saying that this was an important point. We analyzed, okay, it's a more expensive tray. Mm -hmm. So do we sell these, you know, as an add-on? And what we did is we went out and, you know, interviewed and did uh, surveys. Turns out anyone who's got a really good tray table, they want one so they can put the drink and oh, yeah. popcorn. Yeah. So we're like, okay, if everyone's going to want one, it's cheaper to manufacture them and put them into every single chair so everyone gets them and it basically makes the total cost of ownership right. you know better so that's what we do if you you know if you buy one of these chairs you get one you're like oh my gosh where's the tray table they're all hidden in the armrest and so you can put your tray table in the armrest close it when you don't want it and then the other armrest you can put controllers or whatever uh, you a want. very solid armrest i would like to add too Another thing that I've always noticed in a lot of chairs, they're kind of wonky and wobbly. I'm sure you've seen that too. Yep. These are solid as a rock. Now let's go to the 800 pound gorilla on this chair that I want to talk about. And that is where the controls are located for this seat is absolutely genius. Thank you. Break it Thank down, you. brother. Yeah, so um, when you're designing a chair, there's really two major places that you can put the controls. One is on the side here. And the advantage of that is you don't have to have a more expensive 
uh, cup holder. Sure. The other way to do it is embed it in the cup holder, which obviously makes the cup holder a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. The the problem, actually, I'll let you describe it because you've you've probably had oh, chairs. Well, and <laughs> being a bigger guy, a lot of the chairs are kind of thin, even if they're not having the controls on the side. If you own theater chairs, you know what I'm talking about. You got to reach down and find them when you have company over. They're going back and forth. They're trying to figure out the button layout. And, and if you have a USB charger on it, which this has on top, forget about it. You're just going to snap that thing off. So uh, if it, you need one reason to buy this chair alone, that's the reason to buy it. Yeah, yeah. so it, all the controls are here mm -hmm. and it walks straight through. It, there's an order to the buttons mm -hmm. that makes sense as well. And if you do focus group testing, you'll see this is the order to do it. You know, step one reclines the chair to get mm -hmm. you to the right position. Step two, which are these two buttons mm -hmm. that bring the headrest and you and I we spent some time on this as well right. we might as well pause on this for a second mm -hmm. um, we you're a taller guy yeah mm -hmm. and yet this chair fits you and we put shorter people when it does and the reason is the way the headrest comes out uh, like this enables you when you're um, laying down it'll come up for people mm -hmm. who are taller and it starts lower for people who are shorter I, I, it, it's genius I sat in this chair I'm six foot two 240 pounds and I fit in this like a glove. Then I've seen several people here at the show sit in it and the same thing, they adjust it. The lumbar is adjustable on it. Yeah, so those are the last buttons right yeah. here is that lumbar. And actually we spent six months just trying to get this lumbar right. <laughs> so we were done with the chair and it's like, team, we're ready to go. And some of the people that tested it came back and said, you know what, I'm shorter or taller. If we could get that lumbar a little bit adjusted, we're like, you know what, we spent so much time. Understand. Let's get it right. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a ton of features on it so we could probably spend an hour talking about it a couple of things i like is as the chair reclines that the footrest is integrated in one piece coming back connected to the chair so there's no possibility of dropping something getting it stuck into it nice classy touch the overall construction and the motors used in this the build quality is is exquisite again i come from a world where we're doing five six thousand dollar chairs sometime i i honest to god will put this in that category as far as comfort and build quality and a, a much, much affordable price. I mean, this is this is a home run. This isn't just an ordinary product. It, this wasn't audio advice going, hey, we just need to have our own brand of theater chairs. Like everything else that they do, Overachiever. <laughs> they, <laughs> they went out and spent a year and a half, did focus groups and did the research, did the homework and used their own experience. You got hundreds of years experience combined here at Audio Advice and created, um, this is a game changer, guys. And, and I sincerely mean that with all my heart. This is a great product. And I sure as heck gonna try to find a spot to put a couple in my house one day. Scott, this telling you in, in the Thank show. You, Don. Listen, the show, you gotta come here next year. <laughs> I, I missed last year, everybody's like, dude, dude, you missed audio. I'm like, I see what the hype's about. It's not hype. This is the best show I've ever been to. Thank you, brother, for your Thank you so much, Don. Thank you for your staff's amazing. The hotel was amazing and all the vendors that participated. But, I'm so glad you made it this year. Buy this chair. <laughs> I'm telling you, if if not. You can write me a letter no, if you don't like it. <laughs>